Will I be able to find clothes that look both elegant and expensive inside Zara? Ladies, I am up for a challenge, so today you are coming shopping with me. Let's go! Ladies, will I find something elegant inside Zara? You know that I don't like fast fashion, but I'm up for a good challenge. Ladies, you know how I love silk dresses, right? The only problem when you buy them in places like this is that it's uh, satin, so it's polyester. It's basically a lookalike of silk, and these become very, very wrinkly. So you have to kind of be careful with those. If you are really on a budget, then this could be a good solution for you. This jacket is really, really good. Well, it's actually a whole suit. As you can see, the material is more, it's more expensive looking, it's somehow more durable. It's a little bit more structured. As you can see, the seams here, do you see here? That gives away if a garment is expensive or not. So this one is definitely a yes. Ah, oh, ladies, this is definitely not elegant lady section. Things like this do not really look expensive. I mean, if you, what is this? It's kind of ugly, actually. I personally really don't like trousers like this. I think they look very, very lazy, and you know, they're, they're ripped and they're baggy and just not very flattering for women. But I think overall, this is kind of the 90s section, and I'm not a big fan of 90s. I don't think it's very classic or very elegant, so definitely a no-go. Sometimes you don't need to talk, you know? <laughs> okay, this is definitely a no-go. This is too masculine. I found a black dress. Now, I wouldn't buy it for myself because I'm a blonde. And you know that I only dress myself in lighter colors because it doesn't go well with my complexion. However, I really want to give you a good example of very, very good uh, fabrics. So this is a typical fabric that actually will look a little bit more expensive than other fabrics. Let's look at the composition of this dress. Okay, it's 41% polyester and then you have nylon and viscose. And because it's a mix of these, it just looks much more expensive. It's not going to lose its shape, it's not going to lose its color when you wash it. So I would definitely say that this is a good investment. <laughs> very good purchases. These look very old money. I would definitely buy the beige one. Very equestrian style, ladies. You will definitely look expensive. And I mean, here, if we're talking in pounds, it's 50 pounds for these jackets. I think this is a really good purchase and this does not look like it comes from Zara. So I would say, buy this. Perfect color if you want to look sick. <laughs> I would say definitely do purchase trousers like this. It might not work on all body shapes, ladies, but you will actually be surprised that for 30 pounds, you will definitely look elegant wearing something like this. I personally like this color. I think this is really nice. Even this, very easy to style, very easy to look expensive. This is a little bit too dramatic for my taste, but I know there are some ladies who like to be a little bit more flamboyant, so <laughs> a yellow pants, maybe with a white top could do. And then we have kind of the classic black one that I think majority would wear for the office. However, I would say start experimenting with other color of trousers than black, unless you are pear shape and you want to kind of make your hip area and your leg area appear smaller, then you definitely want to go for the black one. Any pear shaped ladies do avoid adding color and adding focus on your bottom parts. Now this could potentially be a good uh, budget purchase, but if you come a little bit closer, I'm gonna show you one thing. These buttons look very cheap. And buttons are a big giveaway when something is expensive or not. Because the, the actual jacket, if you look at it from the distance, the material is quite nice, but it's truly the buttons that ruins everything. Okay, this is very interesting what she's wearing here. I'm very interested in the top. I wonder where I can find it because this is a very good material of a top that definitely looks more expensive. You will find this type of material with mid-range brands as an example. So I wanna see where I can find it. I found it. Looks a little bit short though. I think it could be a little bit too short for me. This looks like when you go to the beach and you wear one of those. You wear one of those like a beach cover-up thing. How does it work? No, I think it's inside out. 
I'm not understanding this. I think we just have to like give up here. That was weird. <laughs> Now, tweed is very elegant. Think Coco Chanel and uh, this black and white kind of check type of tweed. Uh, very classic, very timeless, and of course, also very elegant, ladies. People are not going to think that it's Chanel if you wear this, but it's a good place where to start. I would rather buy the skirt rather than buying the jacket. And if you come a bit closer, the reason why I wouldn't purchase this jacket is because do you see the frills here? This is very typical Zara to do this, and this really gives away um, that it's from Zara. And for that reason, I would not opt for the jacket. I would rather go for the skirt. Okay, <laughs> this is not a good thing. So make sure when you purchase something that you check and make sure that there is no defects on the item. But this would be really nice to actually wear during fall, winter. You wear it with a black hosiery and then you can wear a black turtleneck or a black top. It would be really nice because it will match the black in this pattern. Do stay away from purchasing handbags. This is not very expensive looking at all. Stay away from tops like this because they will make you look bigger. But uh, again, I found a fabric which will last you a long time. This is a very good polyester. I have clothing in this material and I know for a fact that it lasts you many washes. It doesn't lose color and it doesn't lose the shape. However, the structure of this blouse is not flattering. I don't know many body shapes who would be able to pull this off, unfortunately. It's quite nice, but it's making me a little bit dizzy when I look at it. Do you see the pattern? It almost makes you... Gosh, I can't look at it. <laughs> I feel nauseous. I'm getting this because I'm obsessed with anything silky and this kind of midi dresses. I think this one is really nice, so fingers crossed that it won't wrinkle too much. Okay, I'm going to give you a really good example. So the model of this dress is very nice. This is inspired for sure by Zimmerman. Zimmerman makes a lot of uh, dresses, wrap dresses like this. They're very feminine. And yet you're showing a little bit of, you know, flavor for men, because this one is kind of more on the shorter side, yet it's covering with the sleeves. But ladies, I would never purchase this dress because it looks very cheap. Like the, the material, the color, the like threads sticking up. You, can you see those like small threads and stuff? Like that's not good, that gives away. So I would not purchase this even though the model is really nice. So do you see this outfit? It's actually quite nice. It's more for the flamboyant, dramatic lady. Not many body shapes will be able to actually pull this off, but if you want to look a little bit more like a fashionista, then I do think that this is actually quite a nice look. What I really like about it is the fact that the pattern matches the trousers. And this is just a very good way of unifying an outfit because when you're choosing something with pattern, you always have to make sure that the, the color inside the pattern is matching something else in your outfit because that's how you make it right. This is a bit too much though. <laughs> I wouldn't wear a dress like this, I feel. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Ladies, this is a nightmare stand. What is this? Is this from cheap.com? <laughs> Ladies, I wonder why. <laughs> Do you remember there was this confusion where I spoke about the fact that you cannot wear t-shirts, but then people didn't really understand when I was wearing short sleeved tops and they thought that I was wearing t-shirts. Well, let me show you what a short sleeve top is, ladies. This is a short sleeve top. This is not a t-shirt. I would definitely say purchase these. I think you can also purchase that from Zara. Of course, you would like to have one maybe in cashmere, a bit more delicate fabrics, but you can definitely pull this one off as well. So I think we, uh, I'm ready to try stuff now. Okay. Hey, they're filming right now for you too. <laughs> I love this one, I love the color, I love the fit. It goes really well, um, I think for most body shapes, but definitely if you're an hourglass, this would look really good because it really just follows your body line. The color is fantastic. I love beige. It will definitely be matching with my purse, so. Love this look. Ladies, this is not a good dress. Look, what is this? It's not flattering at all. It looked cute but not when you wear it. 
This is a really good dress for an hourglass. You can see it's very, very feminine. You, you really showcase the silhouette, which is good. What I like is that it has long sleeves, so you are showing something here, but it's not very revealing. You're still very covered, yet it's very feminine. This one is a so-so because the upper body is absolutely fine. If it was like a top, it would be a really nice top. I would definitely have purchased it. The color is very flattering. It can really come across a little bit like a Laura Piana, even though it's Zara. Necklines like this, not a good solution for inverted triangles because they are wider here and cuts like this make them look even wider. So not a good choice if you have white shoulders. So this is not a t-shirt, this is a short sleeve top. And uh, the color is quite nice, I really like this gray. Ta-da! Yes, ladies, I did end up purchasing something. As you can see my evidence here. I haven't been shopping to Zara in a very long time, so I'm really excited for this item that I bought. What do you think that I bought? Okay, and now the magic reveal. Ta-da! <laughs> yes, of course, I ended up going for this fantastic jacket. I have actually one quite similar. You know, it wasn't even that expensive. Um, let me see how much it cost. 50 pounds, which I guess that's like 60, 70 dollars maybe. Very cheap for a jacket that actually looks more expensive. So this was a good purchase, ladies. If you want me to do more videos like this, you have to leave a comment below and make sure to watch my video where I give you more shopping tips in how to look expensive on a budget, my best tips. So hop onto that video because I will see you there.